What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about what to get your boyfriend, baby daddy, significant other, husband, whatever they are, what to get them for Valentine's Day. I know sometimes this is hard because we either wait until last minute or we're just so busy or we simply just can't think of anything at the moment. Keep on watching so I can give you guys some great ideas and also do not forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video, comment when it's over, and let's just get right into it. First thing that I want to touch base on is I think every single present for Valentine's Day should include a Valentine's Day card or a box of chocolates or a little teddy. I think that this kind of personalizes your gift to them and just gives a sweet touch which is what Valentine's Day is about along with whatever of those that you choose to give so either a card a teddy or a box of chocolates or maybe all three now i'll give you guys some ideas of what can go with it the first thing i want to start on is a whiskey set so i have two glasses from ikea that are 2.99 they are whiskey glasses $2.99 so two dollars 99 cents great deal each one they are right here they are very good quality they look beautiful set up so you can put this on a little bar that you have at home or maybe he has his own office that he can put these in so these two from Ikea $2.99 and a decanter there is whiskey in this <laughs> But this decanter, it looks so nice. It's really good quality. And we paid $14.99 at Macy's for this decanter. And it's beautiful. It's really good quality. Macy's always has great deals on these decanters. Decanters. Moy has this set up in his room and it looks so beautiful. So this is a very good gift to think of giving your significant other. Even if they're really not into drinking liquor, like Moy is not, but he absolutely loves this as like a really nice touch in his room. As for my second idea, it is an Amazon product. It's called an Echo Show. So they have a bunch of them now. They range from like 40 to $80. But the Echo Show will basically hook up to your Amazon account and I just feel like everybody has an Amazon nowadays because it's so convenient. But it's the... Alexa. Yeah, she didn't hear me. That app and I mean Moy uses his all day. He's like, hey, blah, blah, blah. What time is it? Hey, blah, blah, blah. Set a timer. Hey. Uh, what's the weather today? So I think those are so convenient and then you can have them in any room and It's just a very good gift. It comes in handy when you least expect it But if you don't really like those products, I understand um, Then just get him the next idea is an Amazon gift card because who doesn't love an Amazon gift card? So you can just get him an Amazon gift card Put 40 bucks on it, 25, whatever, and gift it to them. And you can choose whatever amount you want. You can buy it online. It can be digital or you can get an actual card. And they sell these everywhere and anywhere. So Target, Walmart, Best Buy, everywhere sells Amazon gift cards. So these are a really good idea. So the fourth idea of what to get him is a PS5 controller. So if your significant other is as addicted to Call of Duty or any other video game as much as Moy is, then this is a perfect gift. I recently got him the Midnight Black one, which is right here, and I paid $79 for it plus tax. 
but right now it's on sale for $69 at GameStop and Target so definitely oh and Amazon it's on sale on Amazon as well but he really likes it it's always good to have two controllers in case one runs out of battery so this would be a very good gift if your boyfriend is a gamer like mine I don't know if any of y'all are super big gamers that just watched I messed up I did not know that I grabbed the old PS5 remote from no the old PS4 remote from his room because I don't know anything about remotes but this this one I have the right one now this is the midnight black PS5 remote and I'm embarrassed because whenever I was returning his stuff after I recorded the video, he was like, what'd you do with this one? This is an old one. And I'm like, what? How am I supposed to know? They look exactly the same. And he's like, no, this one is all matted out black. And I'm like, okay, but let me show you guys. So to feed off of that, my fifth idea is a dual charging station for the PS5 controllers. These are a very popular item. My nephews have it. Everybody that I know has a PS5 has it. So this dual charging station so he can set both his remotes on here and have them always charged. That way you're not like feeding the cord off of the PS5. So this is a great idea also. And this is only $29.99 and you can get it at Target, on Amazon, basically anywhere, Best Buy as well, and Best Buy will price match. So if Best Buy has it for 40 bucks and you see it on Amazon for 26, they'll bring it down to 26. So don't forget to do that with all Best Buy items. And since I got him this for this year, I DIY'd it a little bit and put these little hearts that I got at the dollar store just to like customize it and make it Valentine's Day thing. So for my sixth item, my sixth idea, it is something that never gets old. You can gift it every year if you want. Who cares if you gifted it last year or the year before? Everyone always needs this and it's a really good thing item to have multiple of. So obviously that is cologne. Now, last year I also included this in last year's video of what to gift him for Valentine's Day, but I'm gonna do it again because I love, love, love when my man smells good and it's just, I just love it. I mean, you want him to smell good and look good. No, I'm just kidding, but this is the best smelling cologne out there. It is the Dylan Blue and you can get it anywhere. Now, colognes and perfumes, yes, they do run expensive, but you can get it from like 60 bucks to 100 bucks, whatever, but a cologne is always a very good idea. So for the seventh gift, I thought of something more personal whenever it comes to your significant other that you're buying this gift for because I got Moy recently a autographed football helmet from a store in the mall. So I know that mostly all the malls, at least here in Texas, have a sports store that has collectible items. So really you can get them anything and just make sure that you know what team they root for or what player they like. And if you don't know those things, then at least the team, you know what I'm saying? So you could get them a jersey for the upcoming season, for this, for this football season, or a jersey for the upcoming baseball season. Those are just great items, something for him to wear, to use, to show off. And so I got the football helmet for him autographed, but I know that they also sell them online, all the NFL teams, for about $130. If you do want it autographed and buy it from like a collectible store, then it's about $230 versus the $130. So really, it's just up to you. And if they're not into football, then you don't have to get a football helmet. You can get a bat with a little logo on it for the team that they go to, they go for or a basketball whatever it is but that is a great idea 
Here's the football helmet that I recently got Moy for Christmas, but I know that this works for any holiday. It is awesome. It is autographed right here in the front, and it is autographed by none other than J.J. Watt. And we miss you so much in Houston, Texas, but he was just a legend here in Texas, in Houston, Texas. So. I got him the JJ Watt one and he absolutely loves it. He took it to work to show it off. I mean, this is just a really cool piece to have and to gift. For my number eight idea is a travel set. So who doesn't love a good quality, really good looking travel set? And let me just start off by saying, this is in no way a paid advertisement or whatever. I just always share this company because it is honestly my favorite and Moy's favorite as well. I gifted him a Mason backpack and Mercer duffel from PAX Travel and he uses this thing like every day. I mean, the backpack is used every single day and then Whenever it's time to actually travel, he uses the duffel and he absolutely loves it. But it is just such a good company. So if you guys have a trip coming up or plan to take trips this new year or you know take weekend getaways or go to visit family sometimes, this is a great gift to gift your significant other. The travel sets will range from 120 to 130 to $200, but totally worth your money, trust me. But if you are gifting something in that price range, then this is a great gift to give. And also, they actually gave me a discount code, which I will show here on the screen. But if you just check out and put Jesse15, and in, again, in no way do I get any benefit off of that. They just gave it to me. Um, you get 15% off your entire purchase. So like I said, I don't benefit from that in any way. I just know that I need to share this company with absolutely everyone and their items are timeless and just beautiful. The ninth item, almost done, because there's only 10, are some shoes. Now, I got these for Moy about two Valentine's Day ago and they are also timeless pieces. I even have a pair now, I recently bought some, and it feels like you're walking on clouds. I am not kidding. I love these shoes so much. They look so good with any outfit. It doesn't matter what time of the year, you can use these whenever, but they are the CDG Converse, and all pairs that I've seen are exactly $150, and these are just beautiful let me show you them you can literally wear them with whatever you want because they are just so cute and they go with everything and I have the cream ones but I was I got more of the black ones and they are just so cute you know the CDG logo very popular and they are just so comfortable and he loves these things he wears them with any outfit and really you can dress them up or down because they are just so so beautiful so this is a really good idea to get your boyfriend they sell these at Nordstrom's or just online and they do deliver in a very timely manner like right away so you're not waiting like three weeks or some crazy thing like that and then as for my 10th item, it is a gift basket idea. So a Valentine's Day gift basket idea for your boyfriend. I am actually doing another video right after I'm done with this one, just showing you how I created Moyes for this year. So make sure that if you want to do a Valentine's Day gift basket, you watch my other video. It's super simple and it is just so cute and personalized and really makes them realize that you actually listen to them and you actually know them. So you just really put just a bunch of little things in there that you know that they like. I'm gonna show you the one that I made right now. 
So this is the one that I made Moi for this year. It is just super cute. Like I said, please watch my other video so I can show you guys exactly what I put in here and how I made it and where I got everything that's in it. And it's a super great idea. I had never done a Valentine's Day gift basket. Like I said, watch my other video if you wanna see how I make it. So with that being said, you guys, those were my 10 good ideas of what to get your boyfriend for Valentine's Day this year. I hope you guys enjoyed and please look out for my other video. And I'm also making another video of what to get your girlfriend for Valentine's Day. So make sure you watch that because it has some very cute stuff. And don't forget to subscribe, y'all. And I will see you in the next video.